white beans or cannellini. A key ingredient in tomorrow's Dad the Noob tries to make dish. Tune in to find out what's in store as we try to make this stew. Oh, I spilled the beans. <laughs> no pun intended. What was once dried beans overnight have now formed into fully formed, fleshed out white beans. The cannellini. Cannellini? Cannellini. Cannellini. Yes, that's what it is. Have formed. Of all the things that this recipe calls for, saffron was by far the most difficult to find and the most expensive. And it only calls for a pinch, but it comes in a bottle, and that bottle comes in a bag. I had to fight a dragon to get it. Hopefully it adds the right amount of kick to the dish that I hope it will uh, it'll achieve. Otherwise, this entire enterprise has been for nothing. Bienvenido. Hola, and welcome to another episode of Dad the Nude Tries to Make. What you just saw there was the key ingredient for the Pavada de Asturianas, or North Spanish bean soup with a lot of pork. So today we're going to try to replicate this peasant dish that has been a staple food for centuries in northern portions of Spain uh, in continuing our peasant food series. So stick around while I try to not screw this up. Once again, I have no concept of portion control, nor do I really follow the instructions as well as I probably should. So we're going to double down on our meats, and we're going to try two different types of recipes for the same dish. One in our Dutch oven, the other in a pot. So we'll see how it comes out, but I'm pretty confident that whenever there's swine and beans involved, it's always going to be a good time. So we'll see how this turns out. Okay, so we've got done carving up the meats and searing the ham hocks and the chorizo. Uh, to a certain point. So now one recipe calls for throwing the meat and the vegetables into uh, bone broth stock, which is this pot here. And then in the Dutch oven, it's the ham hocks with the saffron paprika and all the other veggies and the meat and the beans. And then we're going to add water. And we'll get a little bit more water. And then we'll let this sit, right? Um, and then once it gets to a certain point, about an hour and a half, we'll throw in the chorizo because that's what the recipe calls for. Here, the chorizo is all inside, so <clears throat> we're just going to fire this bad boy up, bring it up to a boil, and then reduce it to about 15, or uh, after 15 minutes. And then we're going to mix the beans in, and then we're going to let it sit and stew. While that's happening, we'll be prepping some French peasant bread uh, dough, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so this is the bone broth and the ham hocks. Just got done boiling. I'm bringing it down to a simmer now, where it's just going to bubble a little bit underneath the surface. But you can see already the color change, and it smells like swine heaven up in this joint. All kinds of swine. Delicious, delicious swine meats. All right. And now I am activating the yeast. That's warm water with some sugar and the yeast. It's already bubbling. It smells funny too. So, not like last time. It's supposed to like froth over or something. So, maybe it'll blow up. And then we'll start working around with this. And we'll make some peasant bread. Stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. Alright, so the fabada de Asturianas is just about done. Uh, and I decided to whip up the yeast and the mix. And I don't know what it is about me and bacon, but it just don't work. So now we're just going to stir it in. Uh, it looks kind of wet and gooey, like a blob or alien or something. It's the symbiote. Um, so we're going to add in a bit more of the uh, flour and salt mix. We're going to keep mixing up this dough. It just says not to knead it, it just says to mix it up with this wooden spoon. And then uh, we're going to let it sit, rise for a little bit, and then we're going to throw it in the oven and make some peasant bread, and then we'll dig into our peasant bean stew with bread. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.
Here we have the finished product. The Fabadas de Asturianas. All right, Mooks, come over here. And try some of this. All right. This is really, really hot, so blow on it. Here. here. Now eat it. Ow. Now take it with your fingers. And then eat the beans. It's hot. It's hot. Try the beans now. All right, so the soup is done. I think it came out pretty good. Uh, we had a taste test by Richard, and it's just slowly keeping on low heat right now. Let the beans get even more soft. And this is the not so much bone broth. Uh, it's a different color, obviously, because the broth is different. And we also had the paprika and the saffron in there. And then we have this atrocity. I don't know where I went wrong, but that's my dough. Looks kind of runny. It said to put olive oil on there, and it's frustrating my efforts. So I think we're just gonna blob it out here and work contrary to what the instructions say. And because you know me, I don't follow instructions very well, especially when it comes to cooking. So it's all sticky. So I think that's a good sign. At some point in the near future, I will learn how to bake, I promise. And so this sad state of affairs, I don't even know what that is. It's like a giant pancake. It's a sad, sad French peasant pancake. This is why they're peasants. Didn't rise, nothing happened. It's flimsy. Flimsy and flaccid. It's gross. Where's the blue pill for this dough? Alright, I'm signing off. All right, so we're done with the stew, and this is the one with the bone broth. Looks pretty good, right? And then this is the one with the kind of bone broth, but not really. And then we get the atrocity that is Dad the Noob's baking. I'm going to get this down eventually. What was supposed to be bread turned into these giant pancakes. Oh, what happened? This is what happened. This is supposed to be bread. This is like a giant wafer. Look at it. It's like a pancake or a crouton or something. This isn't bread. This is like a discus. I don't like this. What is that? Non. This is supposed to be This is not non. This is supposed to be peasant bread. Non. It didn't rise. Wait, can I try it? Yeah, we'll get some right now. That is non. Can I try some? Yeah. Let's see what it is. Oh my god, it's super tough. The bread has. Ooh! It's not even like. It's not even bread. It's, it's like, like doughy. Look at this. Yeah. No, here, try a bite of this. Okay, I'm gonna only take a little one. Here, let me give you that. It's so hard. Like this part is like crusty. Alright, take a bite. Come on. Do not take it. And the verdict is. Hard. Tastes like scrambled eggs. <laughs> and it's really crusty. It doesn't even taste like bread. I just good though, honey. What? Yeah. Alright, well. <laughs> the oh, super leaf is good. It was a good. Is, is this a lentil? No, it's a bean. Oh. What do you think? The beans taste really good. Alright, what I, about... I haven't tasted the milk yet. Abby, what do you think? It's really good. I like it. Mix? Yeah? Let me see you eat a spoonful. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yum. Nathan, what do you think? Um. Try it. Come on. I did try it. It tasted good. It tastes kind of salty. The bread. You mean. No. Honey, what do you think? It's really good. Yeah. All right, folks. There it is. Fabada Asturianas. Is this Spanish okay? peasant soup yeah. with some not Mom? really bread, kind of bread, sort of bread. I don't know. I threw it back in the oven to see if it rose, but I'm gonna have to. Up That's my baking game. Flavor.